Alright everyone, welcome back to Delcast Gaming. This is Eric. I'm going to continue in Final Fantasy XIV. And tonight, I'm just going to be doing the story so I can get into Heaven's Word. It's going to probably take a little while, but I'm going to, I'm going to try really hard to get to uh, Heaven's Word. So let's get this cracking so we can get through this game, this part of the game, this expansion to the next one. Alright, so where the heck is that? Okay, so it's... Let's see if there's a closer. What is that? That is the Fisherman's Guild. Okay, so I've got to run towards the to the Fisherman's Guild. Oh, <laughs> why? Right in my face. Does that give you joy? I show you cleanse. Right in my ear, bro. Alright. So now... We're gonna head... Towards... Let's see what the easiest way to get it is. Run this yeah, run, run this direction here. Run up the stairs. I'm not going the right direction. Let me go back down then. Sorry if my game is a little laggy. I am uploading another video um, that I messed up on the other night. So. Shut up, Parker. Okay, so I gotta get over there. So I guess I'm gonna have to maybe run around. Yeah, let's do that. I'm not the long way around, but should get me to where I need to go. Continue this story. Carson, what do I rank in bats and pogs? Hey, look! I think I might stop my uh, video, actually. This is not working for me. So let me do that. Let me stop my video. I'm just going to stop it for now. And I'll just start it um, when I'm sleeping. Okay. There we go. Let me close this out. Alright, now it should behave a little bit easy, better now that I did that. Oh yeah, there we go. A million percent better. That sucks that I can't do the upload. That's fine. Whatever. It is. I'm 34% elite. Parker, I'm a whole rank behind you exactly. I'm 34% elite. Okay. Special spam. If you're not thirty-four percent diamond. Yeah, I'm just gonna get through all this, man. I'm not even gonna um wait for anything. Let me try to get through all this. Use that for what exactly? I don't know. <laughs> Dual. Heck, oh, a new we a new weapon, huh? Oh. I use the can still I my this awesome. weapon's better than that one. Jesus, can you stop dying? Holy crap, bro. Of what skin? Alright, we'll just go over here. Uh, sorry about that yes, uh, last episode, guys, that um, I thought I knew what I was doing with the weapons, so that first 30 minutes of me trying to figure out how to get to the weapon job, um, I found out later that uh, that I have to play it. Um, I just have to get to Heaven's Ward to continue my job, but I'm going to change my job, so because it doesn't really matter to me that much anymore, uh, for that anyways. So, did I put it on the map? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, how do I get down there? Oh, W! I love the shoddy. Okay, let's go down. Alright. Get out of it. Fox, 133, 
He won 93. I won 73 him, but he won 93. Basically, all I'm doing is just trying to get through the story. I hit some. I hit the other guy for 173. Brody, yo, we won. You crazy? You crazy like that? I have been neglected. Yeah, I'm just on that floor. Turn. I gotta put on a new earring. No. Just outside the place. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue with the story. Try to see how far I can get. Seven minutes and doing nothing. People would pop the res and then they would like absolutely shred, bro. There he is. That's what I'm looking for. Not me, I'm dead. Let's get that scene. Welcome to the chat room, my broskies. Welcome to the chat room, my bros. Welcome to the chat room, my broskies. Welcome to the chat room, my bros.
I know where that's set, so I can just run quickly. I should just run over Question. there. Probably we'll get not take as long. We'll get both of your Loves in the earth. Today is Valentine's Day. I got my wife some flowers and some chocolates and a card. She liked it all. That was good. Was you know go. Oh, what smoke? I don't see any. Uh, I see all the smoke. I see all the smoke. <laughs> Down again. Lost hope. So the name of the Parker. job. The split times. to butter in your bedroom one fifty two people only I have to go underground. I feel like that's what's gonna happen. No! <laughs> Chef. We know good. Carson, you might like you might get a hold of your teammates, bro. Are you sure? We're using my words.
be coming through here after this. I hit him for a lot though. Come on. up at, huh? Maybe I'll remember this, I don't know. It's been so long, I just don't remember it. I just gotta look around and maybe pan out back. Okay, I see him. She's so small. Nope, I haven't seen your parents. Chill. Alright, let's uh, travel this direction now. Pan it just a little bit. Continue forward. Like I said, guys, I'm gonna try to do just the story all the way through to Heaven's Ward. Saw this left, really. I didn't know there was this many, uh, uh, many uh, steps into. Speaking of the steps of an old, into getting into Heaven's Ward. I, all I remember was I was, I couldn't get to Heaven's Ward because I didn't buy Heaven's Ward yet. So I had to play, do all these. I guess because I had to play all these and not actually be able to use it for because when, when you don't play for if you don't buy Heaven's Word all the extra um, all the extra growth of your character uh, your levels they stop so all this extra stuff you don't get so I lost a lot of that and that's what happens uh, before any exp before you buy an expansion. That's why it's always good to go ahead and buy the expansion, so you don't have to lose on your uh, stuff. Yes, mother. Bro, I am legit just going to the first thing I can. If y'all remember last night when we were, I was talking a lot about uh, somebody's gonna get hurt or die, I think this I is getting close to that part. Which sucks, but it's part of the game, so you know, it has to happen. I don't want it to happen, but it has to. How did you die, Cause You guys are trash. <laughs> I just, I just triple, that, that's all three kills. 
I'm trying to see if this is the, the part. Commander Swim has kept us apprised of your recent activity. No, this isn't it. Never mind. sit back a little bit. <laughs> Gotta put it closer to my, or push it back against my back a little bit more so I can massage my back a little bit easier. Oh my gosh! Right, there we go. Got the it. Double 207, bro. The double 207. Is there, why do you call those numbers out like that? <laughs> Sounds weird uh, to me. Double 207? Mm-hmm. Uh, 200... We have 200 health in this game, mm -hmm. and I just shotgun two people in a row mm -hmm. for one shot. So you call it the number of health they... Re the yeah. Okay. I, I always was wondering. And then double 207. <clears throat> no. Hey EJ, did somebody leave you a little chocolate thing uh, under your on your pillow? Yup, it was delicious. So you, you ate it all up? Oh yeah. The chocolatey looking thing? It wasn't even chocolate, it was marshmallows. Oh, I thought it was poop. Delicious. The poop was delicious? Lord of Eleven? The heck? I knocked one, just kill him. Like, I had a 161. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, relax your throat for a little bit. Yeah, my voice is just getting worse and worse. I'm sorry. I'm gonna lay off the talking for a while. Okay. See you later. Bye. Goodbye, my son. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Please don't do it. No, don't do it. The dirty mustache. The dirty mustache. Ew. The dirty mustache. Be cleansed. I can't breathe it. Oh, not my eyes, man. My eyes are already bad as it is. <laughs> look at my portrait. What does my portrait look like? Oh, look at me. I look like a dummy. 
I can change it? What? I kind of like the modern. Yeah, I like being Tinker. Sorry, I just wanted to set that up. I didn't know I could do that. Oh, I forgot to do what I was going to do to begin with. Um, not there. Maybe here. Yep, yeah, right there. See if I got any of these things. Yet. Uh, heart of the party. I can use that one. I'll just leave that one to be. So 
Sorry, I had to do that. Let's see what he wants me to do for him. Quit y'all yapping so much, bro. I do not know what that was. Oh, I must have did that already at some time. Conjurer's Guild, okay. Let's go to the Conjurer's Guild then. I do want to change some of my buttons though, because I the where they're at is kind of sucking. Or, okay, that's what I was looking for. Okay, um, I'm gonna trade this one for that one. I'm gonna move this one closer to over here. Yeah, that should be better. <laughs> My wife always thinks about the good, the cool stuff that she gets for us. I'm a big kid myself. I like, you know, Marvel stuff. I love video games. Something I've always played since I was, I fell in love with uh, video games when I was like four or five years old, man. I started playing, um, first thing that got me playing video games was uh, at a friend's house. And um, they had a Nintendo and they had Super Mario on it. And I was hooked. And ever since then, all I wanted to do was just play video games. Didn't like to go outside because I lived out in the middle of nowhere. I mean, I played later on, but the beginning... I really didn't do much anything um, and then uh, I played video games my mom got me my first Nintendo or well, actually the very first video game device they ever gave me was an Atari the wire on it was messed up so you had to hold it a certain way for it to stay on a whole bunch of little cartridges I, don't, I remember a helicopter game um, I think Pong was there I don't remember very much else though. Those were the main games I played on the Atari. Until the Atari, I don't know what happened to it. And then um, uh, something happened. My mom had to move into the to an apartment complex um, from where we were living. She left uh, her ex boyfriend or something like that happened. And um, and uh, then I, uh, uh, my mom, from my birthday or Christmas, Got me a Nintendo, uh, not just, uh, Super Nintendo, with one, the one game, Super Mario World, and I would play that um, a lot. Like, I'd leave it on throughout the day because I didn't want to lose my progress on it. I think I've, I, I did finally beat it, and that was the only game I think I ever had on it, just to be honest. And then, uh, oh, she's going to have to fight. Um, Ramu. I'm sorry to fight him at least once. Alright, so, and what was I talking about? I forgot. Oh, um, yeah, I, I, I beat that game. And then, the next gaming system that I got was actually a Sega for Christmas. My sister and my mom actually got it for me. And I played that thing a lot my even my nephews came and played with it with uh, played on it played with me and I had uh, Sonic on there I think Sonic was the only game I ever had on there I really didn't have very many games growing up or when I was uh, as a kid um, now when I got old enough to play um, 
when I got old enough to play or to buy my own stuff, like my own gaming system, I actually was working at the flea market selling uh, work clothes and I bought myself a PlayStation. I'm not playing Thor March Extreme, I'm sorry, but no thank you. That's too difficult on me. But um, I decided to play, uh, to um, to uh, buy myself a PS, uh, PlayStation, the very first PlayStation. I, I, I think it took me like six months to save them enough money to buy the, the uh, PlayStation. And then I bought myself my, whatever games I wanted. I had um, I had uh, Final Fantasy VII, Final Fantasy VIII. I had uh, Tekken Two and Tekken Three. I loved, and I think I even had um, I even had uh, Mortal Kombat Three, which had the little. I still remember the code for for that game. It was uh, uh, select. Select, uh, select A, B, 4, back, down, down, up, up. So select A, B, 4, back, down, down, up, up. And you can do the one hit fatalities. And I love that game, man. That was really cool. Um, uh, beyond that, though, um, I, as an adult, I bought myself a PS2. I bought myself a PS3. Uh, I actually got a PS4 for fixing someone's internet they just gave it to me because they were uh, computer players and they didn't really use the PS4 just uh, getting dust and I was working for uh, Comcast at that time and I fixed their internet I found the issue because they were having issues and they no one none of the other technicians could ever figure out what the problem was so I slowly started from where the signal was, I did see a little issue going coming on, and I discovered where it was at. And I came from a, it actually came from the uh, cable box, one of the cable boxes from Comcast. So I replaced it, and they stopped lo uh, losing uh, packets. Is what they were losing a ton of packets, and so they gave me the PS4, or yeah, the PS4. And then just recently, has it been two years? It's been like close to two years my wife got me a ps5 unfortunately <laughs> my son stole my ps5 and now he's using it so i'm actually playing off uh, my computer my one of my friends before i got the uh, ps5 gave me got me this uh, laptop com uh, gaming computer which i appreciate him for getting it for me so much that's what i'm using right now i love it because i can stream in junk so yeah, that's a little bit of history on on my video game why i love it video game so much yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and fight. This is gonna be a Remu, so it's gonna be a. I, I, I think I only fought him like a couple times, though. I don't like fighting Remu. He's from you know what I'm saying? Don't wanna fight Remu. But yeah, guys, that's a little bit of a history of my video game. Why I like video games so much. Yep. Um, with Sega, I actually didn't. I didn't get a Sega. Well, before I got the Sega, um, I wanted to use because I think I had the the Nintendo 64 or Nintendo Super Nintendo, and I only had Super Mario still. So um, uh, my mom rented a Sega for me and Battletoads, and I loved Battletoads, man. Battletoads was so awesome. I don't know how to fight this character, so if you guys can help me on this, <laughs> I greatly appreciate it. I have no idea what I'm doing with with uh, I know I got to avoid some some hits or something. Oh, she should get out of that. There we go. supposed to be doing honestly.
get him back up. Here's the other tank. Oh, it's, uh, it's actually a uh, another uh, character there. There's not really a big mechanic besides just avoiding getting hit and killing some of these little, one of these little uh, enemy guys. very much longer. He's getting wrecked big time too. They're controlling their um, their attacks a little easier though, thank goodness. He's almost dead. He's not going to be able to last much longer. There. He's dead. It's usually not a very difficult f uh, boss fight. Uh, now in the beginning, in the beginning he was a hard hitter, man. Back in the, in the beginning, I remember I was having issues with him too. Yeah, back in the day when I first started playing, yeah, he was tough. He, I kept getting like shocked and junk. I didn't know the mechanic. I really don't know the mechanics very much, like in the sense of showing y'all what they are. But I, if you if you watch my video, you'll see where where I avoid getting hit. Um, I'm really good at getting um, at um, avoiding getting hit for the most part. And then I do kind of use some shields and stuff like. Thrill of the battle right there, this button right in the very top right there. That I usually put on when I'm getting hurt and it kind of slows that down. Rampart is good for blocking for about 10 seconds. Homage I don't very I don't use very much. I think it's more for if I'm about to die, I just tr click that on it. It lets me live for a little bit longer. And then this Vengeance I use a lot. It's kind of like, sort of like Thrill of the Battle, but it, 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 let, it allows me to not get hit as many times. Or as hard, I guess, would be more more precise of what I'm thinking about. All right, so I'm way down there. So I can just fly over there. It's not that far. Dang it! Come on. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna fly back. Oh yeah, this is so much. I used to have to run through here instead of flying. It really sucked. <laughs> Guys, you don't know the struggles though. I used to struggle with um, playing this game back in the day. It used to suck fight uh, f uh, running through here because it's like a maze. If you look in the map, it's a maze up there. See that? Imagine ru running through all of that, trying to get out of the place, especially if you're low leveled. It's not good. I'm not talking to you, girl. I'm talking to this guy. Come on, guy. There, so that's the next part of the story. What little gods are made of. Oh, I have another. No? Alright. Now back over there to that. Ah, uh, yeah. Dang it. Alright. Let's go back over there again. Move it on, yeah. Let's see. I don't know. I'm not even. What little gods are made of? I don't even think that's in here.
so I've been playing for about 45 minutes. Nice. Getting a lot done though. Uh, uh, oh, I gotta go to the Conjurer's Guild. Yeah, Remu is like one of the only uh, primals that are nice, I guess. Because uh, in that fight with him, he's not actually trying to kill you. He's trying to test your how strong you are. So, I mean, in that sense, he's not. He's probably the only one that I can think of that doesn't actually want to try to cr kill you and murder you kind of um, thing. I don't think any other primal is like that though. They all the other primals suck. Oh, Stormblood is gonna be so bad. That's a low Stormblood. It is my first. It's actually probably my most favorite out of all the expansions. Stormblood is actually it has the samurai class, and you're in Japan, like a Japan-like place, which is really cool. And the story is really great. I love it. And then the second best is definitely gonna have to be um, Realm Reborn. This one, this one, this one's story is kind of dicey, which I I like the the conflict. A little gods are made of. Sorry about the lighting, man. My daughter stole it. Uh, in a couple days, though, I should have a new light, so it should be fine. I also ordered a camera for my son and then a back, um, um, a uh, green screen for the back of his chair, which I might borrow it and remove this big old thing because this, this thing's kind of like big. And I'm only in a little spot. Gotta see exactly where this is at. Oh, sheesh. So, am I going the right direction? No. Gotta go this direction. Why is it doing that? It's weird. Like this. I can't get out of that. I can't even. See. About dang time, Jesus. I don't know, it just stuck on that page like that. It's weird. I don't like that at all. Alright, I'm back, I'm back. I'm back and I'm black. I'm not black, but I'm back. I'm back, I'm back. Sorry, I had to move myself around here. <laughs> I'm trying to play the video game while I'm running around. The little back pillow is kind of in the way there. I got a whole bunch of stuff right here to stream. Got my laptop, got my two TVs now. Got my stream thing. I have a whole bunch of extra location things for my. I just got a lot of junk. Where am I heading to next? Um, okay, okay. So, Guardian of Aeors. What is up with this stupid? This thing right here. Get off of me, man. I, I, I don't like that. I, I don't know why I started to do that. Well, now I'm not going to use my little arrow thing, but I should be able to do it with the circle and the triangle or the square. It's just not letting me. It's the weirdest junk I've ever seen. Speak with Yozan. What's up, Yozan? And it's tall, so I gotta get back out of here. I 
I am gonna get stronger gear. I'm just um, slowly building it up, building up for that. I gotta see how much money I have. Or well, not money, but uh, uh, elegant, elegant um, ticket things. Four hundred and forty-two. I can get some stuff now, but now let me see if I can get some more gear. I, I'm kind of getting tired of the uh, gear that I'm wearing because it's the actual gear that you get at, at level fifty. So I'm already level fifty-three. I can get be better gear eventually, and level fifty gear is all I can get at the moment. I'm gear. Here's what I think I can. Yeah, see, I can. Why can't I get oh, this? I don't need that though. I can't use that. It's not gonna be good for me. Okay. One of these girls has the gear I need. How are we gonna how it? Gladiator. I don't want the. I can't get the shirt. I gotta have 510 for the shirt. I'm gonna wait for the shirt. It should look like this once I get it though. Not, not too awful. I mean, yeah, it's very, you know, whatever. But I want to get that first because all the other smaller stuff is. It, it, I can grab it a little easier later. I'm not too much in a hurry for that little. I'm going the wrong direction. I think I sort of kind of remember this part here, possibly. It's, it's like, oh yeah, getting into some battle, okay. But honestly, it's hard to, to remember some of these things, especially after the stroke. I just, some of these things, I just, I, I it's like a, my, my memory is like, it's hard to tell you what my memory is like. It's, um, it's messed up, I can tell you that. It's pretty messed up. It's um guys are even trying man they're getting here i'm not even on i have my um thing on i'm whipping them yeah yeah i'll make it to just finish you off there you go oh guys um today they announced the fantastic four uh um uh, announcement with all the new 
people. Oh, I think it's going to be awesome. It's going to be based. It looks like it's going to be based in the 60s, which I think is a good idea. I think they should have did this like in the very beginning. Just did everything starting from the whenever the the era of whenever they started, like the X Men back in the 60s, and I think that would have been so awesome, honestly. So if they do redo it, I th I hope they do it that way. That's that's the way to do it, man. The comic books have been around for oof, for a really long time. It just I think it'd just be a good idea to do it that way. I'm just I'm just trying to be honest. I, I think that's the way it should have always been. And the fact that they're doing this now is just it, it gives me some hope and some and and I, I I'm a big Marvel fan. Like Wolverine is my favorite character of all the Marvel characters. That Wolverine is and now that Deadpool and Wolverine is coming out in July is making me so happy. And they're using um, Jack uh, uh, Jackman, of course, at least for a couple more movies, which I'm thankful for. I know he's getting kind of old and it's kind of hard for him, but I, I just just to see him a couple more times. I hope the the new Wolverine is similar to him, maybe even shorter, because you know Wolverine's supposed to be a short guy. I'm short. Oh, I'm sort of short. I'm like five seven, and. Um, and I, uh, and I, 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 I'm inspired by him. I know he's a comic book player, but I'm inspired by him. I think being short and angry is just the way I am now, too. Even after the stroke, I'm pretty short and angry. I just think it's, it's just cool to be able to be that type of, uh, I don't know. I just love Marvel. DC is... There's only a few characters I like from DC. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Batman is one, obviously, and Joker. I do like the Joker, especially the Joker from um, the. Um, I forget the actor's name, but the one that everybody loved is the Joker that died. I forget his name right now. I think he made the best Joker. Um. Also, like a DC. This is not very. Oh, Black Adam. Second favorite, Black Adam. He is the best. Black Adam. Like when that movie that came out, he is definitely the. Why is it so red over here? Oh, okay, this guy's. Okay. But, um. Yeah, Black Adam is absolutely one of my favorite heroes in the DC. Him and Batman. Two of my favorites. Oh, and oh wait, I forgot one. Diablo. Um, he's also pretty badass. I heard that they're gonna make a movie about Diablo. Diablo, it's kind of like Deadpool and Wolverine mixed into two, into one. Honestly, jokes are like Deadpool, but he's kind of looks like Wolverine a little bit. Uh, which one is this one? This one is Aft Castle. Let's go to Aft Castle first. Jeez. Let's go to the Aft Castle first. Recruiting the realm. I don't know what that means, but okay. Aft Castle first. I'm just telling y'all things about my life now. It's crazy. Um. What else can I talk to you all about? Marvel. Oh, Final Fantasy. The reason why I like Final Fantasy so much. I've played at least a little bit of every... Uh, I've played every Final Fantasy game there is out there. All, all of them. 1 through 16. And a couple of the other side ones. Um, I... One of my most favorite... I don't know why. I guess because of this is one of the first games I actually played uh, Final Fantasy st style was Final Fantasy VIII. Once I uh, played Final Fantasy VIII, I, f I fell in love with it, and I beat it. I, I think I beat it about seven times, six, seven times somewhere around there. Yeah, it's a lot, but I have. Um, Final Fantasy VII is another good one that I loved. Uh, I played that one afterwards after my friends. Um, because I couldn't buy both of the games, but I knew that I wanted to play the newest one at that time. It was like 2000, 2000, 
Maybe two, no, it was 1997, 1998 when I uh, got that one. But um, yeah, I liked Final Fantasy Seven, Final Fantasy VIII, uh, Final Fantasy IX. I bought because I was so excited about playing a new Final Fantasy because I already beat seven and eight just before I even knew or had any idea how to get uh, Final Fantasy um, one through six. I got all of them now, but back then it was hard to get those because they were all like in place in, in Nintendo's or, or you know, some other game system that either existed for a little while or whatever. But I didn't get those until not too long ago. Um, another good one I think uh, that I didn't really get into was I don't know. Final Fantasy X was okay. It, it, I never beat it. I, I'm, I've gotten close. I have. I'm actually kind of halfway through with it. I just had to take a break because it just gets aggravating for a little while. But I, I yeah, Final Fantasy X is a good one. Um, Eleven. I have it, and I played it a little bit, but it's it's nothing like fourteen. It's an online game like this one, like Final Fantasy fourteen, but it's um, it's old, and I eventually will kind of put my foot down and actually try to play it and get try to get as far as I can to it, through it but um, that one was it's old and my friend Andrew he 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 likes that game a lot I mean I could see that if back then maybe if I would have learned about it before Final Fantasy 14 I would have played it but I didn't know anything about online games like this that's why I found, fell in love with Final Fantasy XIV. This is also a really good game, and I've already I made it all the way into Endwalker. I, I haven't beat Endwalker. It's like the last expansion before they change it to something else. The game will still be going on, but it's going to be like a completely different storyline at this point. Um, Final Fantasy XIV is good. I like Final Fantasy XIV. A lot of jobs, a lot of different things you can do. Um, Let's see 10 11 oh 12 12 I beat like three times 12 is is different 12 summons are different they're not the same summons that you you're used to like there's no Shiva or Ifrit or any of those characters um, and they're like uh, they're kind of like their signs are like um, affinities are like the uh, the Chinese and Japanese um, monthly I don't know how to explain it. They're just not the same as I guess that's why they only did it for 12. I still beat it though. I still like it. It, it was it was different, but I liked it. A lot less use of the summons and more for just getting powered up by them if that makes any sense. Uh that was 12. 13. Now 13 I've never beaten. 13 is actually the hardest of all the Final Fantasies that I've ever played. It is super hard for me. I don't know if it's just because I don't know what I'm doing or I, I will eventually try to play it through I, I've started a little bit and then I, I keep stopping and quitting because I get burnt out on trying to <laughs> defeat the bosses in that game or just defeat the animal even the small enemies are pretty tough that's why I haven't played in 13 that's 14 now 15 15 to me was a masterpiece I love 15 I beat it like three or four times the only issue I have about 15 and this is just this is just probably me but the only reason I even dislike the 15 or anything of 15 is that everybody dies and I did not like that I did not like like that the main character died and it just just put me in a wrong in a, in a I don't know in a funk like all this work all this thing these things I got and collected and all these dungeons I fought in and just to die at the end what the crap is that 16 oh man guys 16 was good I love 16 16 was really good the fact that you can play as a summon that right there was just a, oh you know what while I'm here let me get my scroll thing. Um, I have a couple of music scrolls that I need to put in. So 
that's all I'm coming in here for. I got this orchestron. Oh wait, gotta get him in inventory. Use that. Use that. Sort it just in case there's no, some more. Okay. So now, watch this. Now the music that's here right now is just regular music, but you can play other music. Or I thought you could. There it is. Let's try this one. Nah. Oh, that's, that sounds pretty cool. I only got two. And on my other account, I have a bunch of them. And this one I only have two. I do have another account. It's called A Hero Ironheart. I haven't played it in a while. I try to play it. This is where I'm, the reason why I'm playing this account, the Delcast Gaming account, is because my A Hero Ironheart account, I started trying to play it, and I forgot what all the buttons are even for or what they work. Or So what I'm doing is I'm trying to not only, po uh, not only stream this game, yeah, that's where I need to go. But also, um, what was I going to say? Um, this. Alright, so the reason why I'm not playing E here at Ironheart is because I'm. I've, I've forgotten how to fight and play that game. Like the characters and everything. I'm trying to do different, uh, different um, jobs and stuff. I was like, what the heck? What am I supposed to be doing here? That's why. Where the heck am I now? What is that? Conjure, uh, back to the Conjurer's Guild again. So deal with this Conjurer's Guild junk. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I'm I'm replaying it. Um, tanks, of course, of course, are my favorites. Now, here at Ironheart, I have all the 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 um, all the jobs up to at least fifty. Uh, I think, if not all, then almost all the tanks are up to 80 a couple of DPS are up to 80 and um, I'm pretty sure I have no um, healers up to 80 because I hate healing uh, I do have my um, my gun up to 80 which uh, the gun was actually pretty fun it was easy and it was um, a DPS so you're kind of far away from the enemies and you can just shoot them with and just blow them out of the water. It's really cool. Um, I do like to be in the fights, though. That's why I like to be a uh, a, a tank, because you're all you you have to call the, the enemies towards you and fight them, and you got to make sure that they can um, that you can you protect the, the team. You you can't let them get hit because the DPS and the healers they can't take too much damage. I can because I have the gear for it. But everyone else, they don't. I need to start. Where the heck are all these other people at? Let me see if I can fast travel to them. What's that? The. Um, Keto. So I'll just do the fast travel. Keto. Make Keto. There it is. This is the long part of the game hour in but I've already did quite a bit of the story I'm recruiting the realm recruiting the realm oh there it is right there uh, but yeah um, Final Fantasy 16 was to me I mean it is a very main mainstream game like but you gotta remember it's I didn't I couldn't believe just how good it was it was really good especially becoming a summon and beating the crap out of other enemies and and, and it was just I don't know how to explain it it was really cool to me uh, closest uh, just run over there. Forget it. Just run towards them. But yeah, it was really fun. I can go th from one through six as well in the game. So, Final Fantasy one, very basic, a lot of grinding, um, and you might even have to use a guide um, 
just to find your the places and wherever you're at that's the part that sucked for me I did beat it but I beat it offline so I might have to come back and beat it online let me see if I got any more things I can get stuff in this character here I already got one of those I guess I no, I don't want, I got six of those, so maybe I can get myself some characters, or some mounts. Yeah, let's go ahead, oop, let's go ahead and get that. That's it. So, I'll show you what I got, so you can kind of see. It's it, well, I can't show you here, but I'll show you whenever I get out. What well, I just got, it's pretty cool. Alright, so, yeah, nothing. Okay, so I'll come back to that later. Oh, there you are. And uh, Final Fantasy 1, basic game, um, no summons, but you can get really powerful weapons and magic towards the end of the game. And Bahamut is there, and he's actually, you collect something from him. I don't think you fight him. If I, uh, I, it's hard to remember, but I know it's one of the newer games I beat, but it's been like three or four years. Um, but yeah, basically it's just, and then the end boss is pretty easy at the end if, you're, if you have the right magic and stuff. But a guide would be good for you because it's very uh, out in the middle and it's like isn't it's not progressible. It's not easily easy, easily progressible, progressive, progressive. I don't know. It's hard to progress in it. Final Fantasy two similar. It, it can't progress easily in it, but um, they do add the little. Uh, you have to have you have to talk to certain people and get like these words or phrases to tell other characters in the game a lot of grinding and again no summons and it's uh it, it has a cute story and the ending is it's okay Final Fantasy 3 that's when you really start getting into the game to the game so Final Fantasy 3 um, that's when the summons are first sh uh, when the summons finally so uh, show up but you won't be able to help uh, you won't be able to call on them until later on because you you have to uh, all the games all the games I think are well Final Fantasy 1 and Final Fantasy 3 talk about the crystals and how the crystals are what brought your your people together and stuff. A lot of the crystals. There's a lot of crystals in all, most of the Final Fantasy games, anyway. But um, yeah, and your team, and you have to help each other defeat the evil in the world, stuff like that. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, Final Fantasy three. I've never beaten Final Fantasy three. I heck, uh, I got a little far into it, but then there's a part in there where I got lost and I didn't know what to do. I might replay it now that I have the the game. Um, you can buy the game um, for cheap. I think I bought all six games for like seventy dollars. So they might have another sale on it. Maybe I don't know. But that's how I got it. So I might replay it and have a guide for them. Okay, so now I gotta. Other place. I think there's a lot going around. All right. Um, where was that? Final Fantasy three. Okay. Final Fantasy four was the other the other upper game that I actually beat. Um, that game was fun. A little bit more story to the game. Uh, that's uh, Final Fantasy four is where they started putting in a little bit more story to the game, where it makes sense and you had to, you know, you become or you come become or you you leave from being a dark knight to being a paladin that's the main character of your game and uh, and you you are the main game character and that's where it all started to be the main game like cloud um like uh lionheart I forget his first name right now um and all those other characters like that. that's where it comes from this is final fantasy 4 it's actually one of the most popular games for that era that came out you can do still do summons but only one character can do summons there oh, and they all are uh, each character ha uh, so Final Fantasy 1 2 and 4 are uh, you're locked into that job so whatever job you you get that's what you're locked in for the rest of the game so you gotta you, you, um, Final Fantasy 1 and 2 
gotta be real careful what character you want to play as or you want your characters to play um, Fantasy 4 Final Fantasy 4 has a good story the ending is good um, the end boss is really tough so good luck if you are able to defeat him um, let's see Final Fantasy 5 now Final Fantasy 5 is actually really fun it's kind of like Final Fantasy 3 and uh, okay, sapphire. Um, it's really fun and I'm trying to think oh and I recommend for you whenever you if you have enough strength you do have to grind a little bit in the beginning and um, you can get summons you, there's some summons you gotta fight and you obtain them by fighting them uh, sorry, sorry okay and um, I got a little far on Final Fantasy V, but then I got burnt out and stopped playing. I'm gonna have to go back and play it again. It's a little tough in the beginning, though. Just so you know. Where the heck? I have to wait for. Oh, there it goes. Uh, Final Fantasy V. So uh, Final Fantasy V. So I haven't beat Final Fantasy V. I don't know where, what, where to go, what to do on Final Fantasy V. Now, Final Fantasy VI is where the story kind of progresses to a point where it's um, where it's uh, it gets more in depth. I guess uh, is it is that the best way to explain it? More in depth? I don't know. Um, but uh, six has a, a good story. It's funny and. Oh, actually, I forgot to tell you, Final Fantasy V is where the f the first uh, time that you meet, um, what's his name? He's an enemy, but he comes out later in a couple of other games. Um, what's his name? It's not Yojimbo, but it's someone like Yojimbo. Um... Not your Jimbo, but um, I think I can't remember his name now. Um, if y'all know who I'm talking about, <laughs> let me know in the in the chat who you think I'm thinking about, because I forget his name now. But he actually shows up a couple times. He actually replaces uh, Odin on Final Fantasy VIII after they get off, uh, get into that ship, and. Um, he shows up with a, and he says Bart's because he, I guess he went through a portal and got sent somewhere else. I just can't remember his name. It's like a, it's not Yojimbo. It's uh, it's similar to Yojimbo though. Yojimbo is very close looking to him. I can't remember that Joker's name for life of me, man. It's uh, I do have to fight him in this game. So if I f if I remember, just remember that I was talking about this in episode ten of uh, Final Fantasy Seven, uh, Realm Reborn. I don't know if I fight him now, but in this one, but I might. I, I haven't gotten past all this yet, so who knows? I think he's a character that you could fight later on. Gosh, I can't remember his name right now. He's one of my favorite too. Guys, if you don't ever get a stroke, it will it'll mess you up pretty bad. Like I, I had it in 2019. You can see how I struggled to to not only forget, uh, remember the stuff, but also like I lose my speech. I got kind of kind of a speech uh, thing going on. I think what's going on here. Hopefully, we'll see. Okay, yeah. Uh, but yeah, just don't get a stroke, man. It's it's not good. It's not good at all. Uh, I lost my job because I couldn't work. Um, 
I mean, I work now, but it's it's a family job, so that's <laughs> they're basically keeping me, even though I'm probably not the best. Gender rule, okay. Even though I'm not the best of uh, best of them. See, I don't remember what else to know. Chamber rule, that's where I'm going. What the heck is that guy's name? Not Yojimbo, but... It's in the... It's like on the tip of my tongue, and it's like... <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. That, uh, Jesus, I can't remember that guy's name. It's not Yojimbo, though. Gilgamesh. That's his name. Gilgamesh. I knew it'd come. I had to look it up. Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh first appearances on Final Fantasy V. And it's a fun fight too. And you can steal from him and get like some really good gear. So if anytime you fight Yojimbo or Gilgamesh, make sure that you uh, take his uh, or steal from him and get his gear. So he comes in on Final Fantasy V. There's a version of him on nine, but it's it's kind of off. I don't know. It's weird and off. A kid drawing, mm -hmm. so cool. But yeah, uh, Gilgamesh. Uh, what did I say? Was that? Oh, let me see. I'm in the right location here. Yeah. And um, Gilgamesh. Uh, what did I say? It's on five, eight. Version of him on nine. Uh, twelve. Twelve. He's on twelve. I don't think he's on 13. Maybe 13, one of the second 13s, like 13 2, 13 Return of Lightning or something like that. I think he's in there. Obviously, in 14, he will be there. Uh, in 14. 15, there is a version of Gilgamesh, but he's missing an arm. His name is Gilgamesh, I believe. Um, and 16, I don't think I saw anything of. Uh, unless I missed it, I don't think I've seen Gilgamesh at all in 16, which is weird because I think uh, that fighter, or the the, the uh, Gilgamesh, is a really good add-on for fighting on um, Final Fantasy V and you know eight and nine. You don't fight him in nine though. Nine, he's kind of this guy with like six arms, not eight arms, and uh, he's small. Like even in, in in fifteen, he is missing an arm and he's wearing a mask. His name is Gilgamesh, I believe, but he doesn't. And he's wearing using a, a Sifra sword, I think, if I remember correctly. It's been so long though since I, I haven't played fifteen in about four or five years. But when I did play it, I do remember that. So yeah, Gilgamesh, a little lore there about Gilgamesh, obviously. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh yeah, I was talking about the games. Okay, so what is it? Five? All right, and six. Yeah, six. Six was a good. Is a good game. Um, I got pretty far in it, but then I stopped playing because I didn't know where to go. I'm gonna try to use a guide whenever I'm lost like that. Let's go to Heretic, heretical harassment.
I've been here in a little bit. Hey, Bruski, I haven't talked to you in feels like in forever. Sets in. I can wear a mask of some sort, huh? Okay, let's uh, travel that way, I guess. Let's get back on my mount. Oh, I forgot to show you my, my other mount. Um, mount guide. I'll show you my little hand thing. There it is. This is so. This is what. Well, so this is the thing that you can use instead of. Uh, it's pretty cool. It looks like a little. See, has like a little hand. It's pretty cool. I like it. Makes a weird sound. I can't see what I'm doing. I gotta back down. Oh my gosh. What the heck, bro? Go up. I'm just gonna go back on my chuckle though, because I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, him thing's pretty cool though. Alright, so I'm just gonna jump off of here. Okay, now I go back over there. Oh, gotta go down. Um, I don't know if it's here that I need to talk to someone, or is it up here that I need to talk to someone? Yeah, okay. Keep the little map because I, I just need to see where which direction I need to go to. <clears throat> so um, there is one primal that I remember fighting. It was really cool to see her fighting, but I think she's not going to show up until probably uh, Heaven's Ward. I'm more than more than likely. direction I'm hoping I get to fight um, uh, this primal but I don't know if it's going to be that or not I 
Yes, that is my Chickaboo's name, Balzac. Alright, let's go back, Balzac. I'm probably just going to stream for a little bit longer and then, I don't know. What time is it? It's 8.25. It's not too late. My uh, one of my friend, uh, my one of my friend's sons, um, he's uh, he's actually learning how to draw. Um, which is really awesome. He. Uh, He has Down syndrome, but he's he's such a good kid. I'm proud that he's able to do things like that, like draw. Um, I think it's good for him. You know, he unfortunately he won't be over like really live outside of his parents' house, but he he's a good kid. He's he's come a, a long way. He, I love him. He's you have to. You have to know him, you know. He's a good kid. He's drawing now. That's so cool. Kind of reminds me of me when I was little and I used to draw. I mean, I still draw, but not to the point where I used to. All right, so y'all yeah, learning all kinds of junk about me today. I'm just a chatty person today. But yeah, that's why. Oh, going back to the, to what I was telling you. Yeah, that's why I like Final Fantasy so much. So yeah, video games, Final Fantasy. I used to be a skater back in uh, high school, middle school, high school. I used to be one of the skaters, uh, rollerblades. I used to be pretty good at it too. I try to skate now, but uh, <laughs> I definitely can't skate as good as I used to. At all. That's fine. Alright. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of. Oh, sheesh. Nope. Don't do that. Oh, yeah, I do gotta do that. Never mind. Oh, no, I don't wanna do that. I just do. I don't know, I don't want to do that. Abandon that junk. Alright, so. Nope, don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. So, yeah, yeah, what else, what else was I saying? Um, oh, yeah, about. Oh, uh, yeah, I used to be a skater. Not not a skateboard, though. Uh, rollerblades. So, um, I don't know. I just started skating and my friend kind of was into it and I started following suit and before long I was skating just I was grinding on curves and all that I used to do all that uh, let's see you know I was, I was, I was I've always been a geek nerd uh, I didn't have a girlfriend until I was like 17 years old I'm a low bloomer I guess you could say uh, what else uh, See what that looks like. Goofy, but uh, whatever. Can't use that one or that one, so yeah, it's gonna have to be that. Gotta put that on my head. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's the first gear, visible gear that I can put on my head that's uh, wearable. So where are we going to next? Jesus Christ, why did I keep doing that? Okay. Let's get out of that. Let's get out of that. Sorry, I don't know where exactly that's at. So uh, I think it's down south. Okay. But uh, skater, girlfriend. So yeah, I didn't even go to girlfriend until I was like 17. Um, 
me see. I've had not many girlfriends, but I have, a, I have I've had a few. I can count all the girlfriends I had in two hands. I'm not gonna tell you how much, but I'll tell you it was in two hands. Um, let's see. Uh, also was friends with another friend that used to hang out a lot. We were good friends for a long time. I don't know where he's at these days, but I'm never going to talk to him again. He he actually, uh, you know, did some bad stuff to me. And so I just don't talk to him anymore. I don't want anything to do with him. He messed up, and he probably knows that. And so, or whatever. You don't do that kind of stuff to your friends, is all I got to say. Can't do the stuff he did to your friends. Um, about, I would say, uh, about the time that I m met my wife, I was kind of, um, I really didn't have very many friends anymore, there's, except for the few friends I, I did have, like, uh, Andrew and Mike will always be my friends. We've been friends for a long time. And I don't think that's ever going to end or, or go away. And so I'm thankful for that. They're, they're my only two best friends that I have. So I don't have very many. But those are the, all the friends I have. Um, my wife is actually a best friend of mine too. She's my wife and my best friend. I love her more than life itself take care of her she takes care of me we love each other uh, my kids are like best friends of mine as well they had to learn to to, lo to uh to learn my the way that i think and act now <sighs> you know when you have the brain damage that i had it's it's daunting on everyone not only not only the people that you know and love but also because you don't look like anything's wrong with you you know but internally you can tell something's wrong something's just not there i guess or missing it's like a, i'm not i don't feel like the same person anymore i feel like a completely different person in a sense that of the way i think and talk and um, strokes are pretty bad. Uh, my stroke was really bad. They had a life flight me to Gainesville to the stroke unit. And thank God they saved me because um, they saved me. I mean, I think the first time I realized that something was not quite right with me was when I couldn't remember the names to my kids for like the first two weeks I just couldn't remember their names it was just the weirdest thing to me like when I would have a conversation and about to say you know my kids name and I'll let, uh, or I'll be trying to remember a name or a word and I can't that gets me all the time uh, let's see um, I still have like times when I just no matter how much I try my memory is just not remembering anything like w about uh, Gilgamesh see now I remember but Gilgamesh should be a name that I will never forget because it's one of my favorite enemies of Final Fantasy and you know I just the th just little things like that that kind of make you realize that something's not quite right it, it and my speech therapist said that it's like the bridge that used to connect two pieces of land has broken and now you gotta build around it or go around the long way that's basically what it's like um, even like trying to remember things sometimes it takes a long time and I hate it when people try to to uh, to talk for me or to talk to 
talk like they know what they're, I'm about to say. I don't like that. I do not like it. Just let me spit out what, what I'm trying to say and calm down and let me finish. Because I'm not, I'll have the thought and then it'll go away and then it's, it's over. And, I, I, and sometimes I don't remember what I was going to say. So if you have any, if, if you're all, you know, hearing this, if you, have, you, have, you have a loved one that's had a stroke, just let them, uh, that's the way I am. I, I just let me get my thoughts across because if not, I'm, I'm going to just not talk to anyone, you know, and talking on the stream is actually helping me kind of cope with it. Um, but yeah, it's, uh. It's just pretty tough, man. It's strokes are not a good thing. They're not e an easy thing. I hate my stroke. But yeah. Um. I don't know what else to say though. Uh yeah um so yeah stroke is just i mean it, it, every stroke is different for everyone that guy's gonna be a jackass later <laughs> ilbert remember that name for whenever i get into I'm trying to say remember if it was i think it's the end of heaven's ward i think it's when he becomes a jerk i think i might be wrong but i think so all right sorry about the bummer stuff um but yeah just don't don't get a stroke try not to get a stroke i got one because i had heart surgery when i was 27 for a bicuspid aortic valve it's a thing that you get when you're born with or you're born with it so it's not nothing you can control it's nothing that will that you can stop it's just it'll just mess up i was healthy for the longest time and um no doctors ever found it or anything and then just um, it slowly started to show up um, so I started to get super tired like at first I didn't really notice it but by close to the end of me my wife had to send me to, to the doctor she was like look because she, she would watch me I'd, and I told her how my day's been and stuff so by the time I went to the doctor, I was so tired that I would, I would, okay, so I'll wake up in the morning, and I'll go to work, what the heck, did I change it? Yeah, I changed it, right, okay. I would uh, go to work, and um, on my lunch time, I'll wake up, get ready for work, go to work. And then on my lunchtime, I used to take a nap, and that would be my lunch. I'd take it, or I'd eat real quick, and then take a nap. Just in the there's a little room that we had that I used to just go in there and take a nap because I was so tired. I get back to work, and I'd work, and then when I got home, I used to take a shower, and then I'd nap there. And then my wife would wake me up and I'll go and eat and then I would just go to bed and go to sleep and not wake up until the next morning and just keep on doing it like that for a little while my wife was like well this is this isn't good you shouldn't be have, having to do that the whole you know you're throughout your whole time I was like oh you know that's just that's just it that's all I have that's just what it is I mean I don't know what to tell you. She's like, well, I'm going to go check you up. I let you get checked up by the doctor. See if there's just anything that might be causing you to to fall asleep like that. And I was like, okay, okay. So, and this, uh, I saw the doctor. And I swear he was, like, checking me out and stuff. And then he started listening to my heart. And it felt like he was looking at, at, at my heart for, like, ever. I was like, bro, what the heck are you doing? So I just let him keep li listening and stuff. He looked up at me after a little while and said, "It sounds to me like you have a heart murmur. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna send you to a a um, 
uh, you know, the heart doctor. And so I was like, okay, okay. So I just thought it was like, you know, just go get seen and that'll be it. And, and go get some pills and for high blood pressure. Cause I, I that's another thing that I found on me was I had high blood pressure. So I got me pills for high blood pressure. I thought I was just going to take a pill and then just get out, you know? And so, um, I just went back to work, just kept doing what I was doing, and that was about it. Well, the doctor called my wife while I was working, and the doctor said, yeah, uh, your husband has a heart murmur, and it's pretty bad, and he needs to be, he needs to go to surgery as soon as possible. And so I didn't know none of this. My wife said, my wife's jaw dropped to the floor, and she was like, already starting to plan things trying to get me you know and she didn't tell me when I was work uh, she actually waited until I got home to tell me what she got from the doctor because she thought that I, well what I thought it was just gonna be some pills and that's it and I can get back on my on my way well no so yeah I had to get heart surgery the heart surgery went good I um, I decided to go with a mechanical valve because I was so young. I was um, I was only 27, super young, and I just, you know, I just thought that was just what I needed to do. Uh, uh, so uh, when I got seen, oh, and I got this heart surgery. So I'm trying to get my thoughts together. So after. After I got seen by the heart heart doctor, I um, I decided to get a mechanical valve because of how how uh, oh there it is because of how how young I was and I did just did not want to get heart surgery. I did not like getting heart surgeries. Uh, I never wanted to get a heart surgery and I never. I hope to never have to get a heart surgery ever again kind of situation so you know um, after that I um, after the heart surgery I was put in, in, in the hospital um, in a room shortly after that after the heart surgery and when I, when I was when we came to and I was able to, to talk and listen and stuff the one thing that was driving me nuts and this is something I don't know if you'll feel it but this is something that, that kind of affected me is that um, the the sound of my heart pumping because it's a mechanical thing you can hear it you can feel it in, in, in you it's like a tick 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 sound and I'm just bro <laughs> That was, that sound for the first few weeks was driving me absolutely bonkers. I could not stand the sound of my heart pump doing that at all. So yeah, it was it was absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, that, that's the one issue I had with that was um, just uh, the heart pumping was really just crazy to me. And that's one of the worst things that I had for a little while was the, my ticking in my heart. Now, if you have a good ear, you can actually hear it in a, in a, cl in a room with the doors closed or like in a... In a um, trying to think here in a uh, in an elevator you can and people can usually hear it they're like what you got a watch on I was like no that's my heart and they're like what I was like, yeah that's my heart so that's really crazy um, but after a while I don't know it's because I'm getting older um, it just started going away after a while I'm gonna 
build up this character real quick so I can whip these guys. Alright, so here we go. Bam. Bam. And then... But yeah, man, it's just, it's been crazy. So, and then for nine years, I didn't have any issues. Now, uh, the doctor did say, the heart doctor did say that I, because I had the heart valve, that there is a possibility that I could have a stroke. Uh, and then nine years later, I had a stroke. And that's about it. I don't know how I had it. I don't know how it happened. Like, I'm get a lot of guessing or what could happen was I forgot to take a my medicine which I have to take warfarin because um, they believe that I might have uh, not have taken it one day or something but it's hard to tell I, I, it's, it's just one of those things because uh, I have pills and I have like a little case for them but I just don't know I don't know what happened I don't know why that was such an issue Dang it. Um, and to this day, I'm not really certain how that could have happened. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it, you know? And just one of those things. I just, honestly, I wish I would have never had, had a stroke. I hate it. I hate, a, I hate strokes. I hate having a stroke. I promise you, if it was up to me, I would never have had that stroke. That stroke changed me chemically, emotionally, physically, everything. But I'm still alive, still able to spend time with my kids, my wife, um, play video games, sometimes even visit friends and family. I'm just not the same guy that I remember. Um, I used to be so much shy, but now I'm like super shy. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I don't like talking to people because they like to over talk me and I hate being over talked. And so if I have to wait, they some people just want to go ahead and finish my sentences, which I don't like. So I just say, you know what? I don't want to talk to you if you're going to be over talking me and not letting me finish my sentences and talking you know part of my healing process is to get my thoughts out and um, the majority of my family does know that and they'll sit there and let me think for a second let me spit it out but some some people are rude they're like hurry up or you know they'd say rude things to me i'm like dude chill man you need to chill out gotta get let me get a chance to say what I'm trying to say and but yeah that's that's my thing you know like I said everyone's different but that's that's how I feel but yeah enough about me I think I think I'm done for episode 10 I kind of opened up for y'all a little bit all right so we're back and forth I'm at back and forth that's not for me, but okay. Alright, so. What was that? I didn't even look at that job. Uh, coming to terms. I don't know how much longer. See what time it is? Alright, so yeah, three more minutes and then I'm gonna take a break for a little bit. Coming to terms. Where the heck is that at? What the heck is that? Mordona, the rising stone. Maybe it'll be. Is it? I think it might. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm over here. Okay. Okay. It shows me where I need to go. I might just stop here, though, actually. Just to see what my kids are doing and make sure my son's okay and my daughter's okay. Let me tell you. Here we are. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to talk to her. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of story to this game. Alright, so... 
turns. I got. Oh. Whoa. Quirthus. Quirthus. Quirthus is that. Speak with Hecka, a Camp Dragon Head. Let me go to Camp Dragon Head so I'll know that's where I need to go. And then I'll stop there. And I'll just stop next to the guy. And then that way I'll know where to pick up from. But guys, you guys heard like an hour of me yapping about my life. That's crazy. And I just opened up and talked to y'all. I feel better about it, I guess. Yeah, that's why I need to talk to Grabber. Let's go over here to this guy. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna just, just step. I'm not gonna touch the thing, I'm just gonna sit right there in front of him. I'm gonna step in here, turn this way. Alright, guys, so this is Duck House Gaming. Eric. Playing Final Fantasy XIV, Rome Reborn, and um, I'm gonna stop for now. I might pick it up later, but uh, this will be the end of the uh, episode 10, part one, for now. And um, I'll see you on the next one. All right, guys. See ya. All right, everyone. Welcome back to Delcast Gaming. This is Eric. This is going to be episode ten, part two. I was just playing a little while ago. I'm back. I checked on my kids. They're all doing good. So, well, as good as it can be. My daughter's fine, but my son, um, still sick. You know, he's still not feeling the best. But let me continue the story. I know the episode ten, part one. I was kind of just yapping about my life. So if you want to see, listen to that, just go back to episode one uh, episode 10 part one part one all right so what I need to head to next it's not really showing me anything but okay it's not really well, it shows it there though doesn't it uh, which way do I go? That direction? Must be around the other side of the corner or something. Uh, here, oh, there you are. Oh, sorry. Intersection. Sorry. Excuse me. Did I get something now? Did I just not do something? I don't know what the heck that happened there. Skip this. Okay, skip the cutscene. Alright, here we go. Yes, I need those. Some gaper pants. Okay. Uh, yes, leather pants for another player. I say that, but I don't really mean to be mean like that. Which is, what the heck's going on with this? Why is it doing that? I don't understand. Can you come back over here again? Talk to that guy. My map is just not working properly or something. There you are. Parts of font. So parts of font. There you go. Okay. Let's jump on my mount and head on to wherever this is. Feels like we're getting really close to the end though. Um, this is the area where the end 
was supposedly. Uh, I'm wondering. So uh, I was talking to you all last episode about another um, another primal, but I don't think she's gonna actually show up until uh, Heaven's Ward. Um, I'm not gonna tell you who it is because I don't want to spoil it for you until I get there. But. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be, I thought it was, but now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think she actually came out until later on, um, so we're going to have to wait on that. Okay, let's talk to this guy here, I guess. Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. Hmm? Alright, let's go to the next location. I don't know what's going on on my map now. I just have to follow that thing, I guess. I don't even the music's playing. I don't want to restart the game, though. It's like no music. It's weird. It wasn't in this last time. Just missing someone? Are they hiding somewhere? What in the literal heck is going on here? Maybe around the corner? with the surviving squire at the observatory observatorium there it goes oh shit um there we are uh there's the moogle so it should be a person right here but i do not see anyone like there should be a person like right here. Speak with the surviving squire at the observatorium. So the observatorium isn't here, it's up that way. Must have to go up or something. And I'm just missing where he's located. Let me see if he's up here then. The obs this would be the observatorium right here. I would think, right? Observatorium. It's giving me an injustice right now. Okay, now I'm on top. Okay, is this 
is, is this the guy? Alright, um... Honestly, this guy should be right here, right? Or let's just look at this little door that I can go into right here. Doesn't look like it though. I mean, it might. Oh, yeah, I can go in there. Hey, this is where is that? Oh, there he is. That was crazy. Okay. Now what do I go to? Hopefully pretty soon we'll be getting some new phones, that would be nice. I'd like to have a new phone. This one I think is it's, it's still good, it's just the battery dies so easily now. I mean it's a it's a pretty new phone, I mean it's only like two years old. But I think my wife got us some new ones. Should be coming in any those are the brand new ones that are gonna be coming out this month. I don't think I've ever bought a, a new phone like that before. I mean I bought some for my wife because she, um, she always, I always gave her the nice ones while I kind of just got whatever. Where is this at? White brown. That's uh, kind of there to the left of me. Okay. Let's get back on my chocobo then. Let's head west. Yeah, I don't remember any of this. Um, I think I was blasting through here <laughs> when I was trying to get to Heaven's War 2. <laughs> That's probably why I didn't really pay attention to this part. I just can't believe how much story there is. Jesus. I thought there was a lot less um, story than this. I swear. Now I'm just gonna run up. Forget trying to get any other way. Oh. Drill not the one I want to talk to. Yeah, I skip all the talking. I, I know I don't know what I'm. <laughs> I just want to get to uh, to Heaven's Ward and become a tank or become a Black Knight. That's 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 my aspiration right now. Just an 18, so. Yeah, what are these? My my pants or my boots? I think those are my boots. Those are my boots. Nice. Sorry about my my uh, my camera. I'm just um, my uh, light. My daughter took yesterday, so this is the best I can do without my light. This guy's right here somewhere. Yeah. So, yeah, um, okay, that's what I'm heading to next. Just 
So I'm gonna have slightly stronger gear than what I had for the game for the longest time. I say the longest time, but it's only been like six hours ago. What the heck was that? I didn't do anything. I remember doing fates here. A lot of them. I don't do fates anymore though. This game's so old that the new expansions are just. You, know, you can just go through the through the uh, through the game. You can breeze through the game and and uh, still get good weapons and gear just playing the game normally I haven't been taking my eggs so that I won't go over um, sheesh oh it's a, oh okay it's in that little area okay that's fine I'll, I'll make it down there it is right there just make it over here level 45 I can probably wreck it but I'm not going to I gotta find Um, but yeah, you can just play through the whole game without ha ever having to to do any grinding or doing any fates. Good, made it. I don't want to see none of that. Alright, so go this way. I need to get to next. So yeah, I really like this game. I, I don't know about y'all, but I really like Final Fantasy XIV. Um, it's fun, especially when you when you play with your friends. It can be so fun doing the dungeons and stuff. The story part of the game is good, but if you can't play games with your friend, it's not as fun. But if you play with your games and do some dungeons together, it's the best. for the archer bar bard whatever first blood okay let's go there I'm just gonna drop down though I'm not gonna do the long thing the drop down to the bottom thing I drop Jump up to the top thing, I mean. Fly off that way. Okay, now I gotta travel this direction. First blood, I don't think it's, no, it's not the lady's name or somebody's name. I'm scratching my head. Yeah, I rose my, my uh, video up a little bit. Um, I don't know. If it look, when I was looking at the stream, it just didn't look good to see my lap, uh, the blanket over my lap like that. It just looked weird to me. So I took it off. I think I do remember fighting these big things over here, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know. Never mind. I don't know about these guys. I don't remember. So these guys are going to get wrecked now.
Okay. Oh, the music's okay, I guess. Just following the direction. I have n what is the path of the righteousness? Path of the righteous. I think I somewhat remember. I hey Merrick, he's gonna be a big player la uh, later on in the game. See that many of those things are on here. Am I the right righteousness? I'm a potato. I somewhat remember this. This this like very. Snookluck now accessible. Snookluck must be a dungeon, maybe? Alright, let's do that dungeon. Oh, I'm gonna use my NPCs. I'm gonna do my NPCs. I just don't want the. I don't, uh, right now, I don't remember this dungeon, but I should be able to remember it as soon as I fight in it. We'll see. I'll move this out of my way a little bit so I can kind of focus on here. You know, I haven't healed in a while. I should have uh, repaired my gear, but it's fine. Alright, so this, oh yeah, I remember this dungeon. This dungeon is actually, it's alright. Alright, let's go ahead and get these guys. Might be able to get some good gear too. Hopefully. Yeah, this was actually a good dungeon actually, I like this dungeon. That's not really useful there. This would be good 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 there. Actually, these two training would be better. And then I can actually put this one up here and kind of put that one right here. Get rid of that one. Yeah, we'll keep it like that for now. And I'm just trying to separate it for single players and then, you know, uh, more than one enemy.
I like the music in this dungeon. It's very, like, calming. I don't remember what this enemy does, but let's, I guess, see. Let me pan out so I can actually see him. Oh shit, I forgot to click the wrong button. Okay, I gotta remember. I kinda changed the buttons on here, so I gotta kinda figure out what I wanna, how to uh, just try to get it done properly here. Okay, so one. Two, three, four. Been pretty bad on that one. <laughs> yeah, bruh. Indeed. Okay. What did I get here? What is it? Antique solitaires? Are they for me? No, they're not for me. Dang it. Okay. Uh, yep. Oh, shit. Do this nice and easy. No, no, not much else. Just take it long and easy. There's no reason to rush. These guys are pretty much the the to right. I do want to conserve my hard hits for. I want to have more than one enemy. I can up. Okay, here we gotta be real careful. Because uh, when the wind is blowing like that, it just makes things a lot more difficult. And here we can hit them if you want. So I'd like to do that. Do that. Do that.
Fucking shit. Why not? I'm gonna burn the games. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like Pokemon very much. I mean, I got a, a game on my uh, my Wii that's uh, kind of like a, a uh, Pokemon game. Uh, the game is called. What is it called? It's called the. Uh, Snap. Pokemon Snap, which uh, if you're gonna play a game, play a game like that. Pokemon Snap is pretty cool. because I wasn't paying attention. I should have been paying attention, but it wasn't. Alright. Uh, that, that, that one looked a little crazy. Okay, so this thing here, he throws bombs at me or something, I believe. We'll see. to do single hits because there's only one one enemy and I can't hit I don't think you can actually hit the bombs either but oh you can hit the balls towards them though I think like oh shit like that maybe <laughs> he deserves that. Just want tones. That's cool. Is there anything I can wear? Nope. Nothing. That sucks. All right. So I'm guessing we should be close to.
Oh, these are the, maybe those are the bombs I'm thinking of. Uh, could be a tough nugget at the time. to the end of the dungeon here. Turned into a dragon? Is that what he did? I'm guessing that's what he did. Looked like it. I'm guessing that's what he did though. Should be just another dragon or two. Yeah. Here's the uh, end boss of the dungeon, which I don't remember, but I think it might be a, a dog or something, maybe. Or maybe I did a key. Yeah, I think of the apostate. I remember this dungeon. I've, I've done it a few times. Let's see if I can remember what the uh, the um, mechanic is on this one. I don't remember if it was the the dog ghost dog or whatever but we'll find out in a second i think it is a ghost dog though yeah okay so this one's a little uh we're gonna have to hide behind this pillar thing and make sure it doesn't fall on us so yeah so let's try to see if we can get this done the first time hopefully 
pan out a little bit. That's as far as I can pan out, I guess. Alright, so those, this is where those towers go. Yep. Okay. So I think we have to run behind one of these. Yep. So just hide behind here. Like that. And the pillar. Okay, and then once he does that, get out of the way. He hit me, but it's fine. No, I've got further, so I didn't get out of the way fast enough, I guess. Alright, so now we're gonna hit him hard. Hit him hard. Hit him hard. And hit him hard again. He deserved everything that just happened to him. I'm gonna wait a little bit before I do the um, the uh, berserk. He's already down to half life. So that's good. Okay, there's these two things again. Right, this time we're gonna have to go behind here. Yeah, because the other one's gonna hit you from there. Alright, then you run towards them. Take that. And then you're just gonna keep hitting him with him. Alright, so now we hit him again. Hit him again. Yeah, I'll be inside the hip. Keep that hit. Oh she okay, good. I gotta put that on myself, so because now I'm gonna die. Should be able to. Oops, wrong button. He's almost dead though, Fenrir. Fenrir is a. is actually a Final Fantasy a summon, I think. I should die soon, so. Alright, so let's go ahead and hit him again. Hit him again. And again. Have you had this thing here? He's almost dead though. Come at him. And then I have to fight him again. He's he's about to die though, so we should be good. So the mechanic. It's not too difficult. It's a pretty easy mechanic to kinda do. Fenrir is a summon though from Final Fantasy 6, I believe. I didn't get a dang thing from this from this dungeon. What the heck? <laughs> that sucks. Well, whatever. I did the dungeon though. It's a little slower when you do it with the NPCs, but it should be okay. Should work out pretty good. Do you just Warrior of Light? Greater good now. I got seven more minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and just play for seven more minutes. Right now, currency. If 
582. I should have enough to get the, the top jacket, but do I really want to do that? If I'm going to get other gear, I don't know. We'll see. See where I need to head to. I was flying around in the snow. But knowing that I'm over here in this um, ice place now, I know that I'm really close to the end. I haven't seen. I'm looking for and pan out some. Oh, here it is. Fish print footprints. I was hoping to finish this um, this thing like for Heaven's Ward, but it doesn't seem that way. I'm gonna look uh, when I'm done here. I'm gonna kind of look and see how many more stories I need to do to get finished with this with the Realm Reborn. back to there so I'm probably gonna stop once I get to this uh, last uh, story I think I'm probably just gonna stand next to it and I'm gonna get off and go to my other a hero Ironheart um, character and see how many more stories there are to the end so yeah I'm gonna stop there right here so yeah I'm gonna stop right here with the story so for the greater good okay so I'm gonna log out if you haven't seen my uh, a hero iron heart um, job you're about to see it right now I got it so much stuff though I gotta get rid of a lot of my gear and just uh, start it fresh again I guess so it's called for the greater good I don't think I've seen that in my video in my picture for the better good. Alright, let's see. Yeah, my character's a cat. I tried a human thing and I didn't like it, so I changed it to a cat. Again. But my character's name is still a hero Ironheart. That's what I was really getting into it, and I changed my character's name. I spent like ten dollars to do that. Um, my name before you hear Ironheart was Cuban Style Killer, which was my uh, name from playing Final Fantasy or playing uh, Call of Duty. That's where I played that from. Here we are. 
pick up. Uh, if it bleeds, we can kill it. Keen eyes, all time, judgment, bolts, and lightning, drop dead Shiva. Oh, so. What? I guess I did fight Shiva eventually. There's Ramu. So Shiva is the next. Uh, and then Odin. Oh, geez. Um, I don't do that yet. Maybe. Oh, Maja. No. Some of my jobs. Bug looks like a lady. Uh, no. Um, I thought. Oh, maybe he's in here. Okay, here we go. All right, so this return shotgun wave. Reap the whirlwind. I did that one. Road eleven. A little Gazameda. Heretic. Cold sets. Brave new companions. Cold sets and heretic harassment. Made of Trader of the Mist, back and forth, coming to terms. First Blood, I think I was on First Blood already. The Path of Righteousness, For the Greater Good, Tendrils of Gentry, Chasing Ivy, Spliffling, Travel of Ice, Clouded, Bait and Switch. See, I, I got, oh my gosh, I got a lot of. Before the Dawn is the last one, so. So yeah, that's not bait and switch, eyes and clouded, road less traveled, so what was I? Path of Christ. The greater I think I meant the freighter greater good for the greater good. I know I did first blood, the path of righteous so maybe if path of righteous what I just did. No, I don't think it's there yet either. Oh it might be. So if I'm there, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty four more. Okay. Well, if you want to see my character, um, um this is the uh the warrior um, but the character I was using was the Reaper which is this badass joker right here the warrior looks a lot like uh, somewhat different yeah I think he looks pretty badass I don't know what I need these buttons to do anymore I'll have to replay it but yeah guys that's it um, I'll talk to y'all later and um, until next time guys uh, this is Eric signing off with Delcast Gaming and Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. And I'm going to...